What's going on next week? Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of Next Week Today. I am Adam Novotny and this is where you learn about some of the things that are happening next week today. Have you heard the news? Just this week it was announced Andy Grammer's coming to play here at UW Green Bay later this semester. You may know him from Dancing with the Stars, I don't know. You may have heard some of his hits on the radio, Honey I'm Good. So no, no, honey I'm good, I could have another but I probably should not. I got somebody at home and if I stay I might not leave alone. No, honey I'm good, I could have another but I probably should not. I gotta bid you adieu to another. I will stay true. Hopefully the beginning of the semester is going well for you. You may have noticed the bulletin boards are filling up. There are a lot of things going on, so let's just jump right in. This is a very big week. It's sex week. Actually, it's not even a secret. Sex week! But sex week's really open to everyone, whether you are a virgin or not, whether you are planning on having sex or not planning on having sex, or whether you're currently having sex. Well, maybe not currently, because that would mean you're watching this? Well, that wasn't awkward at all. On Monday, the first event is Sex in the Dark at 8 p.m. in the Phoenix Rooms. For Sex in the Dark, the lights go low, and then you and others in the room are able to ask some anonymous questions about sex and everything related to sex. If you get lucky, see what I did there? Oh, sex humor. You may walk away with your very own Sex in the Dark t-shirt. On Tuesday, Afternoon Delight will be taking place from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the Cloud Commons. Resources from the community will be there uh, for sex education, as well as some free giveaways. Then at 7 p.m. in the Crest Center Pool, Battleship will be taking place. Now this isn't your typical battleship. Canoes, water, sinking other people, this is legit. What you need to do is go register on the intramural page and you can take on some of the other teams that are registered so far. Here's the registration page. Props to Pound Town for keeping it within the sex week theme. And if you want a closer look at Battleship and what happened last year, click on the link in the description. Then on Wednesday, from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the Phoenix Rooms, there's going to be Org Smorg. If you're not familiar with Org Smorg, various student organizations uh, fill up the Phoenix Rooms, and you can go around and learn a little bit more about them. So whether you're a seasoned leader or whether you're new to the whole thing, uh, go check it out and see what's going on. The theme for Org Smorg is Saturday morning cartoon. So if you come dressed in character, I promise I will snap a picture of you and include you in my next vlog. Then at noon, there is the AIC meet and greet in the AIC Student Life Suite. Stop in to celebrate the start of the spring semester. You can meet the people who work there and learn about what they do. Everyone is welcome. And then at 6 p.m. in the Phoenix Club, there's another installment of Sex Week. There's Love Languages. We each have different love languages, so come learn about yours as well as others so that you know what's important to your partner or your future partner so you can live happily ever after, right? Isn't that how the book says it's supposed to go. And then at 8 p.m. in the Phoenix Rooms, there's Kel Mitchell. You may know him from Nickelodeon's All That and Kenan and Kel, but I remember him most from Good Burger. No matter what you remember him from, uh, come check out his stand-up act and relive some of those wonderful 90s memories. And then on Thursday, we have the finale of Sex Week with a healthy dating expert and author, Mike Domish, who's coming to ask the age-old question, wanna Netflix and chill? No, not that question. Mike's gonna be bringing his program, Can I Kiss You, to the Widener Center at 7 p.m. Now, Mike has a very interesting story. When he was in college, his sister was actually raped, and then he went into debt trying to go around and educate people about sexual abuse and sexual violence. Now, if you live in housing and you're wondering about getting to the Widener, have no fear. There's going to be a shuttle bus going from 6.30 until 7 that will be taking people from the community center all the way to the front door of the Widener Center. Uh, and don't worry, it's sticking around to be able to take you back once it's done as well. You might even leave the event with your very own Can I Kiss You t-shirt. And in Cheap Seats, it's been hailed as the best Hunger Games movie since Mockingjay Part 1. It's The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. On Friday, you have your very first chance to purchase Andy Grammer tickets. They're going to go on sale at the UTIC at 9 a.m. And you can use your student ID to purchase... Up to four tickets at $25 a piece, plus some fees. The first Groovin' Grounds is going to be taking place this Friday at 8 p.m. with Matt Bayless coming to play. I've really caught on to some of his music, so 
At the end of this video, I'm gonna have a little sampling so you can see what he's all about. And then from eight to 11 in the Phoenix Club, there's gonna be the Pride Center Spring Celebration. There's gonna be a DJ and some food, so the only thing missing out of that picture is you. It's open to all UWGB students, so take off those winter boots and put on those dancing shoes. On Saturday, if you're interested in jazz, there's Jazz Fest in the Widener Center at 6 p.m. That's free to all UW-Green Bay students. And then there's the Women of Color Self-Love Dance from 8 to 11 p.m. in Phoenix Room A. Join the women of color as they celebrate self-love and what it means to love oneself. There's going to be music by request and activities, so if you don't get danced out from Friday night, come back for some more on Saturday. Well, that's going to do it for me, everyone. Don't forget to take pictures when you're at some of these events. Send them my way, put them on the Student Life Facebook, uh, and also let me know what songs I should lip sync in future videos. Thank you for watching, and hey, I'll see you next week. Come on, let it go. Just let it be Why don't you be you And I me But everything that's broke Leave it to the